can't get the height right. Like it's like cutting the top of my head off. Do you want me to hold her? Will it be like no. That would be annoying for you. Well, hi Luke. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for everybody who left some comments on mine and Noelle's relationship, dating, all that good stuff, Q&A. That was actually such a fun video to film that I got inspired to start something new here on my channel that I'm going to be calling Coffee Combo, Coffee, Coffee Combos, Gigi, is that what I should call it? Yes. Hang on, I need to introduce you guys to somebody. Guys, this is Hello. Gigi. She is my right hand gal behind the biz. Um, and she's here helping me out this weekend. We are hosting an event for wellness coaches, educating them on two full days of how to basically be amazing coaches and up level in their lives and their businesses. So we're really excited about that. Um, but again, yes, yeah, so today I'm starting something new that I'm gonna call coffee combos. And each time that I do it, probably once a week, um, we'll be on a different topic. So I really wanna hear like exactly what you guys want me to talk about. Um, Gigi and I might sit down and do one while she's here. We um, were sharing some online dating stories. <laughs> so we thought it might be fun to have a coffee convo around online dating. Um, I would like to do some about maybe my own journey with like hormone health and healing my hormones and just everything that I kind of dealt with throughout the last year. Um, so that's a cool topic I think I could touch on, but I really obviously want to hear what you guys would want to hear about. Um, obviously serious topics are great too, but fun and funny topics are fun to sit and talk about too. So anything that you guys want me to have a coffee convo about. And I hope that when you're watching, if it's not like late at night, or maybe you do a decaf, that you'll sit and like have a coffee with me. Um, Cause I plan on uploading these in the morning. But anyway, uh, today's coffee combo is going to be a supplement review. Um, so if that's not of interest to you, if you have absolutely no interest in hearing about supplements, you can click out of this video. I won't be offended, that's totally fine. Um, but a company called Fit Affinity reached out to me and they asked me if I would be interested in doing an honest review. Keyword, you guys, honest. Um, you don't see a lot of sponsored videos or like reviews on my channel for that reason because a lot of companies will just reach out to influencers and just basically say like, hey, we'll give you this product or we'll give you X amount of dollars for you to promote our product. And I'm just not like, I'm not that person. I'm not into just like taking somebody's money to promote something that I don't actually like love and believe in. Um, so that's why you don't see a lot of brand deals or like reviews on my channel. However, when a company reaches out and literally says, hey, would you be willing to do an honest review? I'm so all about that, I love that. Um, and so they sent me all a line of their, their whole line of products um, and they gave me a couple of months. They actually sent me these products back in April. So it's been like a solid two-ish months now that I've been able to use the products and actually figure out like, hey, do I actually like these? Like, do I notice a difference in my performance in my body? Um, and be super honest and real with you guys about it. So I'm excited to do that today. Um, again, if supplements are of no interest to you, I'm not offended if you don't watch. If you want to hear my thoughts on this whole range that I tried and differences that I noticed in my body and maybe just in my performance in the gym, stick around. I'm gonna go through the different things that they sent me and drink some coffee and share that with you guys. All right, so I'll start first with their uh, whey protein powder. This is, they call it a quick shake meal replacement for her. So a couple of things with this. They call it a meal replacement. However, the macros are, are pretty low. So uh, it's 20 grams of protein, two grams of fat, and eight carb. Um, which if you ask me, isn't quite a meal. I could see this being a supplement in addition to a meal, something that you would take maybe immediately post-workout to get 
some quick nutrients for recovery into your muscles. Other than that, I wouldn't necessarily label this as a meal replacement. I do want to make a side note too that all of the, the range that they sent me is indicated as for her. Yes, there are some supplements that, or there are some certain ingredients and supplements that can be more geared towards women, but if we're looking at something like a protein shake, um, that's pretty gender neutral and universal. If we're looking at the positives of this, um, I loved the flavor. The flavor was chocolate. They also sent me a vanilla. Um, that one is gone, and I didn't use it as a meal replacement. I would use it as like something quick, just to get a quick shake in again, like post workout, or um, maybe if I'm on the go in between meals and I'm hungry and I need to hit my macros. Protein powders are a really, really good way to hit your protein intake. So I have a lot of clients that actually struggle to hit their protein intake with things like meats or things like that. Um, I even work with some plant-based clients, which can sometimes make it even more challenging to get in your protein intake. So protein powders, whether they be a whey protein or a plant-based protein, can be a really, really good way to quickly get in a solid amount of protein. So this one right here is um, one scoop is 20 grams of protein. Um, even if you're not one to enjoy just like a straight protein shake, uh, you can sneak it into your oats, you can make uh, protein mug cakes and things like that out of your protein powder. So I do enjoy having protein powder on hand. Again, it's a really quick and easy way to get extra protein in. Um, and this fla the flavors, I will say, were very, very good. This one's actually empty too. My only, like, I guess, critique is that I wouldn't necessarily call this a meal replacement. Next one that I will go over is the lean fat burner you can see this bottle still is quite full i did not use very many of these some of the pros that i noticed when i did take these uh definitely increased energy uh i took them in the mornings before my morning workouts and i definitely noticed that i sweat a lot more because it is a thermogenic the downsides to this was that it did make me a little bit anxious and jittery and the caffeine on this is not actually that high it's 130 milligrams per two capsules um, and i actually started just with one for some reason or another it did make me just feel a little anxious and a little jittery um, and i wasn't really down with that feeling if you are not someone who is sensitive to stimulants as i am i could see this being something that would be really helpful and beneficial because like i said i definitely did notice an increase in energy and i definitely did notice an increase in um, my body's thermogenesis i was sweating a ton the few times that i took this before my workout so um I want to make a side note to you guys too before I jump into the rest of the supplements. Supplements are simply that. They're a supplement to an already stellar diet and training program. Supplements will do nothing for you if you don't already have your diet and your training in line with your body's needs and goals. You will simply literally be throwing your money down the toilet. So don't waste your money on supplements thinking that they're going to do anything magical for you or be a quick fix without first getting a hold on your diet and your training. I cannot stress that enough. No supplement will take the place of proper diet and training. No fat burner will burn all your fat. Fat loss simply comes from being in a caloric deficit. So if you're not in a caloric deficit and you're taking a fat burner, you're not going to lose fat. It's just, that's, that's science. However, if you do have your diet and your training completely on point, it's in line with your bodies, your needs, and your goals, and you add in supplements, they can give you a little bit of an extra edge for sure. But again, they aren't the end all be all. They aren't 100% necessary to make progress. Uh, the next one that I will go over is their stress relief supplement. This is one that I'm actually still enjoying and still using. The ingredients that are in this, I will go over them. Chamomile, lemon balm leaf powder, passion flower powder, and ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is actually a highly researched supplement when it comes to reducing cortisol levels, bringing stress levels down. And it says to take one capsule daily with breakfast or when feeling stressed, Take a second capsule four hours later, maximum two capsules per day. I've actually been enjoying these. I am a very like high stress, high anxiety person. So I definitely, I actually have noticed uh, a little bit of a difference when I take these. However, I also do, I'm a firm believer and user of CBD oil as well. Um, so I've been using this in addition to my CBD oil. So what I've been doing is I've kind of been opting out of the morning CBD oil, taking the one capsule of this instead, just to kind of like get a full gauge on if it's the CBD oil that's keeping me calm and chill or if it's the supplement that's helping out. And I've 
stayed like regularly calm for, for me with this without the CBD oil, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, this is one that I've been liking, I've been enjoying, I don't have any uh, sort of critiques or negative things to say about this. All right, so two more to go over with you guys. The next one that I have here is the Firm Body Sculptor, again, for her. This is another supplement that based on the ingredients could be used for men or women, very universal and gender neutral. This one here, I would basically call a non-stimulant fat burner based on the ingredients that are in this. Luckily, prior to receiving these supplements, I have what I believe a fair deal of knowledge around supplements. Um, I've worked with several companies in the past. I've done a lot of studies, studying and researching on my own and finding like what works for me. And I know that there's a lot of like gimmicks and stuff that are out there too. And I definitely don't buy into those things. Again, like I just said, supplements are simply that. They're supplements to an already appropriate diet and training program. They're not magic. But again, um, the, sup the ingredients that are in here are uh, Garcinia, L-carnitine, green tea extract, raspberry ketones, and CLA. Some of them are said to help break down stored fats in the body and utilize them for energy. I'm gonna actually share with you guys too what they say on their website this supplement does, just so that you're aware. Um, they, they say that the benefits are all day appetite control, stimulant free, which definitely is a bonus. Especially for me, as I mentioned, I didn't so much care for the stimulants in the fat burner. For all body types, yes, 100%. They're all natural ingredients, yes, very fair and true. Supports appetite control, controls sugar cravings, reduces hunger, fat gain prevention. Uh, that's a definite no, because if you're eating in a caloric surplus, even if you're taking their firm body sculptor, you're gonna gain fat. This, this won't prevent you from that. This could be a definite great option for somebody who is sensitive to stimulants like myself. As you can see, I took pretty much the whole bottle. Uh, again, I wanted to do so in order to give a very, very fair review um, to see that see if these were if these claims were things that I was noticing myself as well. Um, I will share with you guys that I have been on a very slow and steady cut over the last eight weeks. So I have lost weight. Um, and I have been in a caloric deficit. So I'm attributing the majority of the body composition changes that I've been making to being in a caloric deficit. I will say that for the most part, my appetite has been pretty um, manageable. And what I mean by that is I haven't felt ravenous even though I am in a caloric deficit. So am I to say that that is because I'm taking the supplement? I don't know that, but that is one of the claims that they do claim. I'm trying to be very like transparent and real with you guys, and I hope that you appreciate that. I will again agree with the fact that I do love that the ingredients in here are super all natural, um, that there are no stimulants. I probably will finish out the bottle, because why not? And it'll be interesting to see if I notice any increases in my sugar cravings or hunger levels after I finish the supplement, and I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. So the last supplement that I'm going to touch on is called the Tight Tummy for her. I don't have that bottle because I used the entire thing and I threw it away. So I really liked this supplement. With like the marketing, like the tight tummy, I get it, like everybody wants a tight tummy. Will the supplement actually give you a tight tummy? Like, no. <laughs> but I really did enjoy the supplement. So in this is ginger root, peppermint leaf, chamomile, a digestive enzyme, fennel seed, green tea, cranberry, and a very small amount of dandelion root powder and asparagus root. So essentially you guys, what this is, is a digestive enzyme. And I love, I take di digestive enzymes regularly. I do find that they help with the breakdown of food, that they help with nutrient absorption as well, and they help minimize bloating and stomach um, upset after after you eat. So I really did enjoy the supplement. I t took the entire bottle after I ran out. I switched back to um, my normal digestive enzymes that I was taking prior to this, but it was great. It was a, it did what it said it was supposed to do as far as the functions of a digestive enzyme. I would give this one, you know, a high rating. I really did enjoy this supplement. So I'm going to read to you what they say the benefits are on their website. All natural ingredients. Yes, 100%. Uh, reduces belly bloating. I can definitely agree with that statement. Uh, improves digestion, absolutely. It is a digestive enzyme. Helps tighten tummy and includes a probiotic blend for digestive health. So I would say that those are all very 
fair and accurate statements. Again, I really did enjoy that supplement. If digestion is something that you're struggling with, a digestive enzyme could be a really beneficial supplement to add into your routine. However, when it comes to digestive health, you guys, your gut is like your second brain. If your gut is not healthy, all of your other systems are going to be out of whack as well. So if you're struggling with things like bloating, if you're struggling with regularity and going to the bathroom, I would really recommend getting to the root cause of what is going on with that. Is it potentially a food allergy? Is it something that you're eating or not eating? Um, a digestive enzyme will help with the breakdown of food, but there's definitely, again, I recommend getting down to the root cause of that. Uh, I actually, I'm so passionate about digestive health that I went and sought out a certification as a digestive health specialist uh, because literally our gut is our second brain. 80 to 90% of your serotonin receptors, they're found in your stomach. So if your gut's off, your mood's gonna be off, your energy levels are gonna be off, literally everything's gonna be off. Um, you'll experience fatigue, constant bloating, constant indigestion, maybe irregularity. So really, honestly, like getting down to the root of your gut issues will solve so many, so many problems. And that's a whole nother video for itself. So if you guys are interested in hearing more about digestive health, um, I'm so happy to talk about that. But definitely loved that supplement. By the way, my coffee cup says, never give up unless you run out of coffee. I believe in that statement. I wanna say thank you to Fit Affinity for not only sending me this range, but for asking and allowing me to be super honest and authentic with my review. I want you guys who are here on my channel to know that that is something I pride myself on and will always, always, always stay true to doing. Anytime you see me talking about a company or a brand or a product on this channel, um, if just know that it will be something that I absolutely love or that they've asked me to be super honest about how I feel about it. They do have a fit affinity line for males as well, but again, like I said, a lot of these supplements are very, very gender, gender neutral. I will put it, the first link in the description box, box will go right to their website. And if you wanna check out any of their products, I hope that this video was helpful, that it provided you some information, maybe not only about their specific supplements, but about supplementation in general. If you have any questions whatsoever, not only about these supplements, or maybe just about supplements in general, please leave some comments below. I'm so happy to help you guys out. I love being able to answer your questions, even if it's about your goals. If I can give you a consult or help you out with that in any way, I'm so happy to do that. So that's gonna wrap up this coffee conversation. We'll be doing reviews regularly as these. I definitely wanna touch on some like fun topics as well, funny topics. Maybe Gigi and I will do the online dating coffee combos sit down <laughs> so comment below if you want us to do that before she goes and then some serious ones too obviously like I love providing you guys with education and, and value and just like experiences that I've gone through as well so let me know what you guys want to hear this channel is obviously for you guys I'm so pumped to like be back on here and be filming like I love it I love you too um Luke do you want to say goodbye to the people hold on come here goodbye YouTube make sure you give mama a thumbs up and a subscribe.